Hey everyone, David here with the Dark Spider David Show. In a heavy need of a haircut because I just cannot control this beast. Anyways, I have a question for some of you. Do you enjoy going to the movie theater? If you answered yes, then much respect to you. If you answered no, there's a one out of two chance that you probably lied. You actually do love going to the movie theater, but you just can't bring yourself to do so these days because of... Uh, a few problems, and I feel like there's a reasonable explanation why, at least one reasonable explanation, that I'm starting to notice a very high trend of these days. So Spider-Man Homecoming, one of the biggest hits of the summer, specifically of July, that's when it came out in theaters, July 7th. It opened up to critical acclaim, box office success, made so much money, one of the biggest hits of the MCU so far. This past Tuesday, it literally just came out on digital HD. Let's do the math here for a little bit. Came out in theaters on July 7th, and now here we are, September 26th, and it gets a digital HD release. Now, of course, that's going to be weeks in advance of the Blu-ray and 4K releases. That doesn't come out until like another three weeks, October 20-something. So, they always try to do some kind of catch where they say, hey, own it on digital HD three weeks earlier. And that's the majority of the format that an awful lot of people like to watch their movies these days. They like to stream it, they like to download it and then watch it later and not have to worry about taking up any space on their shelves unless they absolutely must own the movie, especially when certain retailers like Best Buy, they do their little like steelbook editions that are actually rather cool. And that's no exception for Spider-Man Homecoming. But the majority of people like to stream their home media. What's the problem? It's only been two and a half months since the movie came out in theaters only two and a half months what happened to the days of having the movie kind of marinate and still have it sink in before it's released in home media because holy shit two and a half months just a little too quick for me and i know that that's kind of a product of where we are these days when it comes to our attention span and how people of this generation, especially the uh, the generation that's digesting these big blockbuster movies, especially the Marvel movies, superhero movies, anything that's science fiction or franchise based, they, uh, the attention span for some of those folks are not necessarily the widest, so they want to have the movie now, otherwise later they're going to forget that it ever came out, so home media markets are not exactly going to be sleeping on some of these movies. Another really good example earlier this year was Logan. Logan came out in theaters on March 3rd. It was towards the end of May when the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie was coming out that they already released the digital version of Logan. And then it was towards the beginning of June when Wonder Woman came out when we already had the Blu-ray, 4K, and Steelbook editions of Logan already out in stores. Here we are just three months in and the movie's already out. What happened to the days of just going to the theater, experiencing it, remembering about that, and then later uh, later down the year, not months, year, later down the year, we will finally get the home re uh, media release so that then we have the craving and the hankering to want to see the movie again. And here the gap is just so narrowed down that it just kind of wears down the special... Uh, ambiance and atmosphere and experience of going to the movies and that's what kind of scares me out of this whole situation why it prompted me to make this video is that this is a certain example but a very important uh, factor that plays into movie theaters dying down because I've said this before and I'll say it again that home media um, streaming and marketing the way it's being done these days it was exactly killing movie theaters because little by little theaters are becoming somewhat extinct and little by little you're going to start seeing certain theater chains drop off the map. That's why so many theaters are doing things that they haven't done before. I talked about it in my uh, IMAX video. I talked about it in that video about how IMAX is now doing more 2D presentations of their IMAX format films rather than just forcing IMAX 3D down your throat instead they're going to try to do those 2d formats because they know an awful lot of people don't really care for the 3d and it turns out that their sales increase by doing that sort of strategy and then you got other theater chains my preferred theater chain is cinemark and little by little i often see cinemark trying to impl uh, implore new policies with their cer certain apps or their things like certain offers or coupons or deals if you have the cinemark app <laughs> like i do you can actually increase the format of the film from just standard to the xd that is of course if your movie is being shown in XD like Kingsman or It or whatever and they actually discount the price to almost what's a regular price as long as you're buying it through the apps uh, through the app and you can buy it and instead of charging you 12 something it'll charge you 9 something those are deals to kind of get you to 
get hooked and go see movies in the movie theaters. And of course, we cannot forget about the one that co- caused a little bit of controversy, especially with theater chains like AMC, and that's the Movie Pass, where for like $10, $15 a month or something like that, you can go see as many movies as you can. And that's a very big thing for people who love movies, who love to go to the movie theater, who love to actually experience the whole walking into the lobby, buying your popcorn, buying your drink, getting your ticket torn, and then walking into the theater and experiencing this film for like two or two and a half hours and just immerse yourself in that experience and just feel like all your problems just go away because you're in this collective atmosphere where you're you're almost like part of a community and all of you actually care about the film because that's what's important is that making sure that all the people that are inside of that theater care about the film because if you're just there to fucking talk then get the fuck out and people like that are exactly what's ruining the experience for others when it comes to going to the movie theaters because not only is the theater an unpleasant thing to to go to these days because people are just so used to being at home when they're streaming their films and they're streaming their media that when they go to the theater they think that they're at their house and that's what kills and kills it. And now we got home media markets that are somewhat enabling that by having the movie be taken to the streaming market, whether it be Hulu or Vudu. I think there's one called Vudu or something like that. And of course, iTunes, where you can download these digital versions of the movies just two and a half months after the movie comes out in theaters. So because of that, not only will more people be used to the atmosphere of being at their home that that when they go to the theater, they think that they're at home and they're disrespectful. But on top of that, they're going to just skip out on the theater altogether because they look at the whole gap and the way that this whole time window works. And they're going to be like, you know, the movie only comes out about two and a half months after. Anyways, I'm just going to check it out then. I'm just going to check it out on Redbox or check it out on the uh, home streaming media of my choice. You know, the the, uh, the service that they use, whatever, Netflix, uh, Hulu, again, iTunes, whatever, Roku, whatever it is that they use, they're going to check it out on there. And they're not going to bother to go see it in the movie theaters. And then the sales are going to drop for whatever theater chain you use, AMC, Cinemark, uh, Regal, whatever the fuck. They're going to start dropping. And it really warps my mind knowing that I was part of the generation that grew up back in the early 2000s where movies would take like literally half a year to get to the home media market with DVD and yeah. VHS, I remember Spider-Man, the movie came out in May and then the DVD and VHS did not come out until November. It wasn't until November that 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 came out and they were in no rush. And of course, it's one of the things that kind of helps these days is the technology. The the technology has gotten further and further that they can pump out DVDs and Blu-rays easily. Whereas back then, transferring the media, transferring everything from what was originally shot on film over to DVD and VHS was a little tougher. But still, there was something about waiting for the movie to come to a home market that just kind of became part of the experience. There was no rush to get it out into a home market. And then as the years went by, that gap started to narrow down. From six months, we went over to five months. And never so often, there was still that one movie that would take six months or even a year. The majority of the time, those movies were Christmas movies because they wanted to take advantage of the holiday season. So when the movie came out in theaters like around November for the holiday season, they would actually hold off on the movie until November, October, November of the following year to take advantage of the Christmas season. So... That kind of makes sense. But over time, not only are we seeing an awful lot of less Christmas movies these days that actually got, come out in Christmas. Like the, Christmas is all about the counter-programming of releasing violent movies and stuff like that or Oscar contenders or whatever. Despite that, it takes a lot less for a movie to come out on DVD and Blu-ray. Before we know it, it's already out. And we barely have the memory of going to the theater and experiencing the film inside of the theater and having that experience. And then before we know it, it's kind of like warped away or just, you know, taken advantage of or taken for granted as it's coming out on DVD. And Blu- before I know it, I'm holding it at Best Buy in my hand. And I'm like, OK, well, you know, that kind of special feeling of waiting is now gone. And not only that, but sentiments aside, this is reflective of what's wrong with the movie watching community these days is that we are so in a rush to watch it at home media and we're just so accustomed to that that it's killing the movie theater business and as not only someone who loves to go to the movies 
and experience that whole atmosphere and that ambiance of being within a community. And whenever something big happens in the movie, we all cheer or we all gasp or we all feel something collectively. But I'm also going to be a filmmaker. I want my movies to be shown in the theaters. I want to keep that experience alive as much as possible by having my films be not only maybe even shot on film, but being projected on film inside of the theater because that's how I remember movies being shown and being absorbed and experienced. Not at home where it's like on a tiny little screen and then we're just like casually, you know, munching on things or pausing it frequently because that's not how you watch movies. You don't watch movies in little spurts like, oh, I'm just going to watch it for like 15, 20 minutes and then go off. I, just, I fucking hate that. And yet here is a society embracing that more and more as the days go by. And it saddens me. And I'm hoping that maybe something could be done. And I think one good step would be to have these companies, these home media companies that make the DVDs and Blu-rays, take their fucking time. Anyways, if you guys have some kind of opinion on this matter, please post in the comments below. Do you think that the releasing DVDs and Blu-rays quicker and sooner than expected, where it's just like you just get whiplashed by how quickly these things get released, do you think that's affecting the movie theater market? Do you think that it's affecting the way that we experience movies in the theaters? Are people getting so accustomed to watching things at home so quickly that when they do have that one occasion to go out to the movie theaters, they're not the right customer for that? They're not the right fit? Or do you think that maybe we should embrace this movement and, and little by little movie theaters are going to become lesser and lesser of a commodity and it's all about the streaming service nowadays? Anything that you have to say or dispute, please post it in the comments below. Make sure you like and share this video and subscribe subscribe for future content coming very very soon so stay tuned for that including a little something that I might be working on that involves this little guy in case you were watching this video this entire time and noticed why spider-man was kneeling it's not what you think but I am creating something a little something something here within this area that I'm hoping you guys will enjoy in the week or so to come from the posting of this video because I'm really excited for it. Here's to hoping that it turns out great and here's to hoping that you guys like it as much as I did. And besides that, you can always stay tuned for future updates and anything else that I have to say by staying tuned to the subscription tabs and making sure that videos and posts are enabled because I'm taking full advantage of this thing called the community tab on my channel where I can actually go in and post stuff. And when I say post stuff, I mean post stuff in a similar vein as Facebook or Twitter where I can post a message or a poll or pictures or videos some of which could be YouTube videos and stuff like that and I really enjoy it because it's kind of I know that it sort of cuts out the middleman it kind of eliminates the purpose of me plugging in my Twitter or Facebook because I could just tell you guys to just scribe and you know pay attention to the description type because I could always like post little things in that but it's also a very direct way to really get involved with the community and get involved with my subscribers because now I can check out all of you guys and I can post something and the majority of you will see it and post some kind of comment or like it or something like that. And it's more of a direct way to interact with my audience and I really love it. I really love the community tab and as well as the post feature within it. So please stay tuned and keep an eye out for the subscription tab and make sure that videos and posts are enabled because I'll be posting an awful lot and you can check out the posts that I put up on there and some of which are polls and those polls really help me out help me out a lot whenever I get stumped and trying to decide what's going to be my next video I post a poll and the majority of you are very responsive you guys vote like a motherfucker and it lets me know what you guys want to see and it's been really helpful and I'm hoping to take much more advantage of it in the days and weeks to come so anyways that about does it for this video I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time take care these actors that are brimming with talent are turned into pieces of wood. The script even tries to give them some witty banter, and yet, because of how monotone they are, it just doesn't work. Tell me about your dream. Emote, you left testicle. Emote.